Hey boo hey, it's Diva and I'm here again with another message. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming on this channel and actually being here, subscribing. I would appreciate it now if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. Help those views go up and help the channel to grow. I will start off with the song. Let's go. I am the Diva, you heard about me. About to give you a message, come listen to me. I'm a, a diva, I'm a, I'm a, a diva. That's my intro. If you like it, please be sure to hit the like button. All right, guys, let's dive deep into the message. Oh, how can I give up on you, Israel? How can I let you go? How can I destroy you like Edma or demolish you like Zebulon? My heart is torn within me and my compassion overflows. No. I will not unleash my fear, fierce anger. I will not completely destroy Israel. For I am God and not a mortal, mere mortal. I am the Holy One living among you. I will not come to destroy you. Some of you may be wondering if your life has been shattered or destroyed because of some of the things that you've seen happening in your life. Many of us, go through situations, but maybe your situation is completely different. It seems like it's happening to you back to back to back, like your life is cursed. But there's no such thing when it comes to the chosen one as being cursed. How can you curse what God has blessed? See, God blesses his chosen ones. So at this point in your life, you may want to reevaluate. Look into your life and see all of the great things that the Most High has given you. Because some of us are being given this illusion of our lives being bad. Because I can look at my life and say, you know, some of the, a lot of the stuff has went wrong. Um, and, you know, I can look back and also say that a lot of great things have been accomplished. So if we look, up, look at the things that are good and focus on those things, we will attract more and more of those greater things. But if you focus on those things that have not went right in your life, you will attract more of that. So let's get to manifesting. Let's get to reaping and sowing. So as we sow gratitude into our lives, spirit will begin to give us more things to be grateful for. I'm excited because listen, a lot of you are going to be receiving more than you can even bear. Like you can get, when I say this, this is when spirit says, I will give, I will overflow your cups and they will be overflowing. And that is the power that we have as chosen ones to be able to be in receiving mode as we're grateful to receive greater things to continue to come as our cup overflows. I know it's hard. It's a lot of things that have happened. Your haters have been hating on you. You have people that are looking at you like something's wrong with you. Some of you guys are just like feeling like your business has been stagnant, like things aren't going right. Girl, we all done been there before. Homeboy, divas and divas, we all have been there before. It's not only you, but the thing about it, the thing about the people that actually have a receiving continued blessings are the ones who have seen and looked at their life from a different perspective. We have to look in a different viewpoint. Maybe you need to stand up when you think about your blessings and just look around and see what you have and say, you know what? I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for the beautiful nature that's on outside. You know, being able to breathe, having the activities of your limb is a blessing all by itself, honey. Being able to speak, being able to comment on this video at this moment because you make a huge impact on people's lives. So how about you type in the comments something that will encourage someone else as they're looking through the comment section. That way you can sow a seed into another person's life and you will see it grow and come into your life. See things like that, small little things like that can cause us to be amazing. It can cause us to receive because we're still giving out. You don't have to have money to give out. You can give out a beautiful you know, just being beautiful and saying, listen, you know, I, I like your hair. I like the way you speak. I like how, you know, you are amazing. Your smile is amazing. That's still giving beautiful compliments to other people will help you to be in receiving mode as well.
So let's look into our family right now. Okay. Some of us are dealing with haters. We're dealing with people in our family who will not receive us for nothing in the world. You can do everything you can in, in this life and they will still not want to show you their appreciation or tell you how good you've done in your life. Some of you guys are still dealing with a mother that has not been there for you or that does, does not treat you the way that they treat your other siblings. Maybe your father wasn't there in your life. Maybe your father abandoned you. Maybe your, your um, siblings are jealous of you. Some of you guys are dealing with jealousy among your siblings and they do not like the way that you're doing things and are not telling you the great things about yourself, but instead trying to overpower you by doing better than you okay we understand people are like that and they're like that at the job in business it happens people want to climb the bucket you know what i'm saying it's just like crabs in a bucket but the most important thing to look at is that that's what they're sowing into to their life those are the things that they're putting out in the universe and it's going to draw that back to them so they won't be well received either or that father that abandoned you will be abandoned by someone else love job you know whatever it may be but it's things like that that we look into and say you know we won't be like that we will be better than our environment we will be better than those people who don't compliment you for what you've done so we're going to step out and be proud of what we're doing because we already know that if we step into doing the thing that we want people to do for us therefore we can receive it as well it will come back to you tenfold in a good way right but we know that 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 sh that, that you shall reap you shall sow you know what i'm saying if you sow did i say that right <laughs> that which you have sown you shall reap so understand that you have to put great things out into the universe as well if you're wanting to receive it you are very powerful because you are chosen so you were chosen for this life so being in a family where people are not uh receiving you well are not treating you well okay we understand that happened you may be the type of person that spirit wants you to speak or help a young person who have went through the same thing you went through as while you were young and you speaking in life into that person and helping them to be uplifted this brings great joy to the most high and of course he's gonna overflow your cup with blessings and it's gonna be overflowing so be in receiving mode expect miracles expect the most high to do these things for you see in mark 8 and 31 as you read this part about how peter was speaking to the Yeshua about how he would not rise in three days or, you know, be, you know, be um, risen. He told him, you know, I reprimand you, you know, I'm just not receiving that. And see, when, when Yeshua talked to him, he spoke to him and told him, get up, Satan, get behind me. Satan, get thee behind me. You are seeing things merely from a human point of view and not God's point of view. Okay, that's just like the people in your family. Peter and Jesus, Yeshua, was actually amazing together. They were really close. They was, that was his ace boom coon. Okay, and so even Peter couldn't see or know what Yeshua was about to get ready to do. He didn't know the greater things in which Yeshua would be able to rise up and become more powerful in life itself. He didn't see, he couldn't see it. So this is just like the people in your family. They're unable to see it. Some of these individuals cannot see things because they're looking at the, they're looking at life from a human point of view. And that's where you have to be careful because you don't want to look at your life from a human's point of view. Your life is amazing. Your life has been spared. You're definitely amazing and rising up above what you were before. A lot of you guys have come out of the mud, honey, but you maybe feel like you've gotten stuck again. But now you just have to look back and say, you know what? If he did it before, he can do it again. If he did it before, he could do it again. All right, Ty Tribute. Okay, so listen, same guy back then, same guy right now, the same thing he can do now. And that's the thing we have to look at it from that spiritual aspect that things are actually happening. And there are seasons and times for different things. You have to 
know when your season is here. A lot of times, some seasons you have to go in hermit because you may have to, you know, be still and know that God is real. Okay. And sometimes he's like, I'm going to push you forward and I'm going to bring you here and I'm going to do this for you. And all of that starts to proceed and happen. And when it does, it's like, oh my God, oh my God. It's just like an adrenaline rush and you're excited about it, but you have to know your times and seasons. And so, like I said, when you're looking at things from a human perspective, it's just like looking at how your people, your family has done you in the past, how they only seen you from a human aspect and not looking at it from most highest aspect. Okay. Because in his eyes, you are wonderful. You are amazing. You are made great. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of the most high. So knowing that we have that power within us, we can utilize that power to manifest more, to have things to come through for us and have and know when it's time for us to rest. Like I said, sometimes it's just the time to rest. OK, but I don't feel at this moment that the chosen ones are to rest. We are to now we're now being called to step out of our comfort zone. We have to step out of our comfort zone. It's like he's trying to push us out. Like sometimes you may have to, if you have a business, you may have to go to people and let them know, listen, I am a successful spiritual consultant and I have been doing this for three, four years now. And I am very, um, I would be very delighted to help you on your journey. So if you would like to, you can reach out to me. Things like that. Just being able to step out on a limb, getting out of your comfort zone and not being afraid to tell people what you do, how you do it and how you'll be able to help them. So some of you guys, I feel like at this moment, spirit is wanting us to get out of our comfort zone and do these things. Go to the people and let them know. Go to someone one day and just say, hey, I just wanted to speak life in you. I just want you to know that, you know, you're amazing and the things that you're doing in life is great. If you're speaking those things, you're actually reaping and sowing. You're putting that out there. You're actually manifesting that back into your life. See, the Most High says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's always on your side. He's always by your side. So this is why in the beginning of this message, he spoke about not destroying you or not hurting you, not doing these things to you because he wants you to be able to utilize your purpose and step into it. Use your anointing, allow the anointing to work through you and speak to people. Speak life, speak things into existence for people and help them. Once you pray for one person, that prayer helps you to be blessed as well. It's like you praying for someone else. It's listen, especially those family members who don't like you or who are not in receiving mode of you, who are not receiving you well. If you pray for them, you will see how things will greatly change in your life. And spirit will be like, you know what? You pray for them. So let me bless you. Think about how Job was when his friends uh, persecuted him. He decided to take it upon himself to pray for them. And then that's when the Most High said, okay, I, he gave him double for his trouble. So I'm ready to receive it, right? Type in the comments, I received double for my trouble. I received double for my trouble. And that's how the Most High will do you. So as we're doing these things and he's getting ready for us to get out and get out of our comfort zone and you're getting out of it, he sees that what you're doing, he's going to magnify you and help you to receive double for your trouble. So get excited and delighted about this situation because spirit wants to bless you. He does not want to destroy you. He wants to give you the things that you want. Those family members don't mean you no good, but okay, we're going to pray for them and keep them going, keep it going. Like I always tell you guys, we're going to block them and bless them. You can block them. You can not talk to them. You can kind of just, you know, move away from them or not really. You can talk to them every now and then, but not the way y'all used to. But that's what we consider block them and bless them. Type that in the comments, block them and bless them block them and bless them. Yeah. Type that in the comments, honey. You will be able to do a lot of things when you do these things. When you bless this part, these people in your family by praying for them to be better for, for them to be able to see that the most high is working in you through you and helping them. And they'll be able to change their life. They would help them change, hopefully. But either way, you're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. So as you do this, Spirit is going to bless you even more. Double for your trouble. 
All right, guys, this is the end of the message. I hope that you have enjoyed this message. I know I have. Please be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit me up if you need anything from me. Everything you need to know is in the description bar below. Be sure to go and cop my book. Get that book, man. It's in the description bar below, too. I'm a published author. I would love for you guys to get that book now off of Amazon or however you want to get it. You just go to that link and hit me up, baby. Get, get at me. Get at me, okay? Yes, I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day and be sure to enjoy your life. Enjoy. Don't allow these people to pull you down. Enjoy your very life. And that's on period.